What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Right Cycle Works. And today we're going to do a walk around of the new rig. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is the new four wheel and adventure rig for Right Cycle Works. Most of you might know what this rig is. This is Jerry Bain's old uh, Jeep Comanche pickup truck. Um, many have seen it in person, but I will kind of go over it a little bit and explain to you what all's been done to it. And you can see it's definitely far from stock. So this is a 1989 Jeep Comanche pickup truck. It has the front clip and doors interior motor trans transfer case out of a 1999 jeep cherokee so it's got the good intake manifold 4.0 automatic um it was built by him over the course of several years and changed hands a few times and now it belongs to me so we'll kind of go over the mods and everything else that's done to this thing we'll start with uh the axles the front is a, I believe a 78 Ford F-250, Dana 44, uh, quarter wall tubes. It's been narrowed to Wagoneer length. It has uh, RCV axle shafts, uh, worn hubs. It's got a Detroit locker, 488 gears, PSE hydro assist, uh, sway bar disconnects. Uh, let's see, steering box brace, uh, there's another brace that goes from the track bar mount over to the frame, which is nice to keep the frame side of the track bar from separating. Um, the rear axle is the strongest axle ever made, it's a Ford 8.8 .8 with a Super 88 C-Clip Eliminator Kit. Uh, spring over the axle because the Comanches come stock uh, spring under. Uh, 488 gears, ARB air locker, chromoly shafts. Um, I'm not sure if those are the stock Comanche leaf springs or a bastard pack that was put together, but it actually does ride very nice. Um, as far as armor and bumpers, uh, it has dirt bound front front and rear bumpers um i think these are jcr sliders i could be wrong on that that's what they look like though on each side the rear bumper has a uh, swing out that was added to it i think it's a do-it-yourself kit and you can see it slides out Nice retaining pin to keep it from moving back and forth. As a little fold down grill holder. Super nice. The back of it is completely enclosed with a camper top that is carpeted. Power inverter, some storage up there, fan in the top. Um, seats built underneath. Um, there's a fuel pump access pan up there, which is always handy. I just picked this up yesterday, which is a uh, Amazon fridge freezer. So that'll be nice to have on trips. Let's see, this entire kind of expedition style rack was made. Um, it separates in two pieces. You have the part that goes over top of the camper top on the back. Uh, the cab part right here disconnects with a couple bolts right there. So this is removable. Whole row of KC Daylighters. Um, it's really beefy, really sturdy. You can fit more stuff on the side or on the top if you need to. Um, mounts for your Rotopax gas cans. It's got an ARB awning. Uh, let's see. Other side, you've got shovel and axe, Rotopax water cans, side exit exhaust, which is always nice. Um, get a shot of the suspension in the front. 
Uh, I believe that this is a Clayton long arm kit. It's a three link. Uh, both links on the uh, passenger side with a single link on the driver's side. Nice and low, pretty flat. It rides super nice. Uh, stock MP231, it doesn't have a slip yoke eliminator or anything. Um, I'll show you the inside. You can see the nice 99 Cherokee interior, power windows, power door locks, cruise control, it all works. Got kind of a horse blanket looking uh, headliner in it. Um, it's all the switches for the uh, different lights and stuff. And you see the switches for the ARB compressor and air locker. Uh, the compressor is currently leaking. I have to work on that and try to get that fixed up. But it shouldn't be too big of an issue. But this is it, boys. I've owned lots of Cherokees in my life. Uh, this is my first MJ. My parents have an MJ that I've been around, worked on before, but this is definitely by far the nicest rig I've ever owned in my life. This thing pulls 70, 75 miles an hour down the road. One finger on the wheel with that nice hydro assist. Um, Raceline bead locks with 37 inch mile star Patagonias. Uh, not a huge fan of these tires. They're kind of noisy going down the road. Um, and I've had heard mixed reviews about how they hook up off road, but we're going to run them until they're wore out and we'll replace them with something else. Um, got a worn, worn winch, which is always nice. XD9000, the same one that I believe Jack has on his LJ, which I had first-hand experience with it and it works super fast, super nice. So there she be, boys, the Golden Eagle. Eagle in the hood. <laughs> so remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully see you guys out on the trail later.